Today's the day. Today's the day. We can finally announce that the summer collection from Syndicate Original is now live and available for pre-order over at syndicateoriginal.com. We've got black, we've got two versions of blue, and we've got a sand variant of the brand new design that you guys can go and place your pre-order on right now and are able to do so for the next week to be able to participate to win the most epic giveaway we've ever done. So if you guys are stoked, get down to the link in the description, get your pre-order made, and I am going to wish you guys good luck. And wait a minute, you guys don't even know what the giveaway is. Should we give away a signed tennis ball? No. What about a cork? No. How about a hot tub? Hmm. How about an all-inclusive holiday for two? Well... That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it is happening. For the longest time, I've done travelling. I've been here, I've been there, and I've always wanted to give a holiday away. Now, giving away a holiday is not just that simple, so Alice has got a bit of a better idea. Because as much as I would love to just jump online, find an all-inclusive holiday and give it away to one of you lucky winners, um, Alice has brought up some very valid points, which is not every single person has got the availability to travel during these time schedules of these all-inclusive holidays. So Alice has suggested the following. Uh, rather than choosing a holiday for you, we're gonna give you 2,000 pounds to book a holiday of your own. So I would much rather be like, here's a holiday that you're going to win, advertise it, showcase it to you. It doesn't quite make sense to do that. But we want to give away a holiday, so that's exactly what we're doing. Now, obviously, there's a bit of terms and conditions that come involved with this. So, uh, Alice? Basically, for every order you place, you get one entry into the giveaway. So if you order three T-shirts on one order, that's still only one entry. It's every order, and it's every purchase of a T-shirt of the new... Summer Rain Collection! So from this very second right now, on the 28th, the pre-order for this t-shirt, the Summer Rain, is available. Links down below, get over to Syndicate Original and get your pre-order in. It runs all the way till... Midnight on September 3rd. So make sure you get your orders in. Links down below. It, it's a pre-order setup. So the way this works is once yeah. the pre-order starts and finishes, we get all the orders together, yeah. we send them to print, we get them together, we get them done, and then you guys will get your orders shipped out yeah. to you. Yeah, so we will start shipping from September 18th. We think it'll probably take us maybe like two weeks of all the orders, so bear with us and please don't bombard us with emails. As soon as your order gets sent out, you'll receive a dispatch confirmation email. For your summer collection in, yes. in September. We're going to work fast. <laughs> but there you go. We're giving away a holiday. Explosion, explosion. Holiday. Ooh, the hype is real. The hype is real. And you're taking that off and putting this on. <laughs> Ah, oh, that is so much better. What a way to start a day. But before we get any more hyped, breakfast time. And hello, rabbit. Hello, my dear. What's the plan for today? We're gonna go. Ah, rabbit just bit me. I'm not even kidding. Where is she? I even said hello to you this morning. I found you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's over for you now, rabbit. Stew is on the way. Oh, ho, ho, ho. and it's gonna be tasty. Tasty. Yeah, yeah, give it some extra flavour. <laughs> Why would you bite me, you bastard? You're such a lovely thing. I've no joke got holes in all my clothes because it comes over and goes, I like you. Just wanted to let you know. And I'm like, stop eating me. And what are you saying it means? <laughs> it means politely. Get out of my way. Get in my way. <laughs> I was signing a chair, you little shit. Oh, she wants attention from me. Well, she got it because she's got a, a mark on my T-shirt, so I'm going to have to change it already. It's a good job they've got a brand new summer collection out and I've got as many as I can get my hands on. We have six. <laughs> and I washed them all. And night. you washed them all last night. All right, it's time to step into this superb fresh new day. Now, you're going to be shocked about me saying this. And I'm going to have to go down into the basement to do it. Morning, Kevin. Go on, mate. But you're not going to believe, even with all these parcels I've got here and all the parcels I have there. We've still got one more package that we need to go and pick up, don't we? <laughs> but it's something I've ordered about, I'm going to say like six months ago. And are you ready for this? It cost me $600. Probably one of the biggest regrettable purchases of my life. But to put it simply, I had to. And wait until you see why. Now a quick random side note. We are no longer wearing the dirty, holy salmon sneakers. Oh no, no. We are upgrading to our new and improved shoes that the one and only Elliot Page sent me, the absolute legend. 
We repping in style now. Oh wee! Look at this. Look at this. I will say for the setup of outfit that I wear, like usually black shorts or black pants, I do think the salmon shoes went really, really well. But time for a new chapter. And hey up, fit check, baby mama looking fresh. Oh, you know what? I was about to say, yeah, repping syndicate original, but oh, oh, suits you, sir. Oh, stop it. Now, time to go and collect the very expensive package. Next stop, corner shop. And I wasn't joking, because this is where we have to go to collect our international orders. So extremely random, but it is indeed a UPS access point. Hello. Okay, he's saying he doesn't have it. And it would make sense that he doesn't because I've driven to the wrong store. Ah! Time for a tiptoe around the corner. And aha, Bennett Street. This is all I'm looking for. Thanking you. And whilst I'm here, don't mind if I do. And all right, a code collection later. I've got it. <laughs> I can't say I was expecting it to be that big. Oh my gosh. But I've got it. And we can't open it just yet because before we do anything, we've got to go to a decoration shop to look for paint. Now we have arrived at a place called Brewers Decorator Centre. And in a saucy, unplanned series of events, you will not believe who's round the corner. <laughs> hey, Tony! <laughs> it's just destiny. It's meant to be. I do, lad. All right, mate. Come on. I'm glad you're here. He's the one who's going to be painting the nursery. But all right, into book as we go. Where is she? <laughs> She's already into the thick of it. What are you liking? Oh, she swatches deep, mate. She swatches deep. Hey, no, give me a run through. Give me a run through. What am I supposed to be much, doing? I don't know. I don't know too much about it. I've never used the paint, but it's supposed to be brilliant. You're a painter, decorate. What do you mean you don't know anything about it? None of my clients can afford this. I can't afford. Is this expensive? It's Fuck that. Piss that off. Hey, Every, everyone's using. It. Where's emulsion white? Everyone's so what we're saying, what we're saying. Here, I'm liking these colours. Manchester colours. Tan, I like it. It's called Manchester. Yeah, Manchester Tan. Where's this for? The walls? or the... For the walls. Yeah, okay. And then I want a white. I like white dove. That's quite I nice. I like white dove. Just for clarification, these colours we're picking out are for the nursery. However, we've just been told whilst we're here and the first purchase or whatever, you get like 20% off everything. So, because we've got Tony here, we're redecorating the lounge, the kitchen and the dining room. We're going to be repainting all that because I don't know if you've ever noticed. But the white that I've got on the walls in my house is actually the very very first like base coat of paint that Tony the decorator put down in the house is just like a builder's emulsion white like it's the most basic cheap white paint you can put down just so you're not staring at like a plasterboard wall I never noticed that I just thought it was white and it looked nice but apparently you're supposed to follow it up with like proper paint afterwards so that's what we're doing just nine years later <laughs> so it's time to pick the color of white we're going for but this is where the brain melting begins because there is about 80 different types of white. There's no way. What are you doing? Two days in a row. I know, I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> what? The I know, heck? Right. Dude, two days in a row. I know. I just stood there, this lady talking to me, I'm like, I swear that has been crazy. Are you driving? Yeah, yeah, I'm in the back. Truck driver? No. <laughs> Wait, that's, that's blown crazy, my mind. It? Nice to see Big Chris, but now we're back at the back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's not just what paint do you want, it's what colour paint do you want, it's what type of finish paint do you want, what, what sheen of paint do you want, and then what price of paint do you want. A lot of options. All right, so Tony, did we actually manage to yeah, sort do. anything out? Yeah, we do. Yay! Now, this is the big question. When are you coming doing it? When is it ready for me to come? When are you getting your stuff out of the room? M next week. I'll yeah, get empty. shit out. Get it all stripped out, mate, and then we can. No point me saying yeah, anything. No, I'm good. It'll, be, it'll be good. It'll be on him now. Don't leave it till it'll the last minute. It'll, it'll be good. So it'll times. be good. It'll be good by Monday. Don't leave the last minute and say where it'll are you. It'll be good by Monday. Because if I can't come, you've left it too late. It'll be good by Monday. Get it done. It'll be good by Monday. Yeah, Tony! We love Tony! Okay, wow! Just all systems go, go, go. And now it's time to head to our 31 week baby scan appointment. Which we are going to be late for if we don't stop talking and get on the road. Yay! And look who it is! <laughs> is this our first time seeing you since the pregnancy thing? I think so. Oh, how are you doing? Welcome. <laughs> it's Hannah! You feel like you're going to a powerlifting competition. Go on, get Jelly Man out. I love how I'm seeing you in an absolute sober state now, but I'm going to be with your husband later tonight yeah. getting absolutely plastered. I love this. It's like when it's Hannah, I can get all the behind the scenes. Now, I'm not saying you're fat, but Jelly Man's a big one. 
Blow me that wet. It's mega. It's honestly so cool. That That's the head there. there. Yeah, yeah. It's been there the whole time. Hello. There. Straight on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Nine more weeks! Oh my gosh, it's actually less. It's like eight, eight weeks, five days. If I don't see it for a week, I see it for a window and I'll make sure your husband stumbles home. Bye! Everything's a-okay with Jenny, man. And now for a whopping one pound, I can park here for an entire day. 20p an hour! Cracking spot! Oh my, oh my gosh, is that the real Lydia Hewitt Lee? Oh my gosh, I'm such a big fan. I love... I, lo I, I love your hat. I, lo I love your hat. I love your t-shirt. Oh my gosh, is that the brand new Syndicate Original Summer Collection pre-order available now? <laughs> and now for the perfect place to go after a scan, Gladstones. Get in my belly. Oh, go on then. You'll do as a dinner guest. <laughs> this is one of my favorite reasons for coming here. This is the best coffee you can buy. Their version of the vanilla latte, which is like a house spice latte. So good. Oh. Yes, 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 and yes. Look at that. Go on, I'm a bit bacon. Mm. I'd like to present to you the Nike breakfast. Just eat it. Ugh. I'm so glad we're releasing the Syndicate Original Summer Collection. It's raining sideways. Yeah, you managed to pull it off and make it look lovely. Why have we left the little one behind? Little one. Does anyone here remember? El nombre. Go on. Writing numbers in the desert sand. El nombre. El nombre. We still left your mother behind, by the way. El nombre. <laughs> <laughs> Little Juan. <laughs> Look at him. What is going on? Oh, really? Oh, I did. <laughs> Number. <laughs> Goodbye, Little Juan. Oh, mate, that is absolutely brilliant. I kind of like mumbled my words completely there, but someone said your mum is the most underappreciated guest in the vlogs because every time she in it, she's biased, brilliant. But she is the best mum in the world. Oh! Now, I'm not going to start having mum offs in Morrison's because I'm here for one thing and one thing only, and that is an amazing selection of some beers, of which I'm going to go for these bad boys because tonight it's one of the boys' 30th birthday party. Why did, I, why did I sound like we were 10 years old going to a birthday party then? But I'm grabbing a bunch of my favourite beers to take to the pre-drinks before we get absolutely blasted and head to town. So that'll do me nicely. And I know I said I was here for one thing, but um, we really need some more Philadelphia because can we roll a clip of what it looked like yesterday? Oh my God. So I think some new stuff is in order. Because that was nasty. So nasty. But not as bad as this weather outside. Oh my gosh. It is absolutely heaving it down. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Told you it was bad. Summer collection! Why does it have to be like this? Why? Why does it have to be so wet? Why does it have to be so rainy? Well, I was just gonna say, well, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna be out, out, and all night I'm gonna be inside, so I'm not that bothered, but it just brings down your energy. Oh, it does. And you've gotta, like, you know, you've gotta go. You don't wanna take a coat. You gotta stand outside to get in. Ugh. Nightmare. Rain, rain, go away. Don't come back another day. Three, two, one, break. Go, 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 go. I'd actually already forgot that I've still got to unbox this. And you guys are probably wondering what on earth it is, but we've just been on so many detours throughout the day. Oh, forgot me beers. Oh dear. Oh dear. We've had a delivery that's got a little bit wet. Right, I'm banging these in the fridge and then ferociously opening that package. All right, are you ready to see what is inside the Kami Arts Fragile Box? Now, I would love for you to take a guess right now before I open this as to what I could have possibly spent $600 plus shipping. I don't even know what that was. I'm sure it came to a total of like $700. Like, what could I have possibly spent that much money on of something to do with video games and it being a prop? This came available and I was like, there's no way I can say no. Leave a comment down below as to what you think it could possibly be because in the next five, four, three, two, one, 
I am going to reveal that I have indeed bought the official Call of Duty, the ray gun. Oh boy. I could have easily bought a ray gun that someone like had designed and built on Etsy. They've been there for ages. They're like 200 or something dollars, like they're way cheaper. And they like, they light up, they make sound effects. You can reload them, all sorts. However, this was an official Call of Duty one. And I was just like, you know what? I simply have to go for this. Like as someone who's a massive Call of Duty zombie fan, this has to be done. So, all right, without further ado, let's get inside the box. I have to say this right now. I didn't realize that, oh, oh, it's a box within a box that I know a little bit of information about. Let me try and do uh, it. Here you go. The brand new, the Ray Gun Call of Duty limited drop box. I have no idea. But the mad thing is, when I ordered it, I completely forgot that it actually comes with a mystery box stand as well, which is just absolute mad. I've actually seen a lot of like people slagging this off because on all the stuff, like on the box, like it's got like pictures of maps, they could have used this to tease like the up and coming Treyarch Zombies, which comes out in 2024. They could have easily used that to tease it, but all the maps and stuff apparently are from like Caldera Warzone which makes no sense whatsoever. So it seems like the little details and Easter eggs have been completely rushed. But do you know what? This is something that's gonna go on my display. Hopefully Jellyman isn't gonna absolutely ruin it when he gets the, gets the hands on it. But to open it up, when you open it up there, it is all blacked out. I've got this, it's got some sort of like seal, wax sealed thing in there. I'm gonna assume this is like some sort of certificate of auth authenticity as to like what it is. I'm sure it was a limited edition run. So can I open this up without like absolutely ruining it? Oh, this is, I'm gonna ruin it. I've ripped it. I've literally ripped it already. Oh my gosh, I'm just, a, you know what? I'm not selling this, so I don't know why I'm taking so much care with it, but all right, we're in. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. Okay, that's quite nice. Certificate de authentication, whatever. Oh, it is limited edition. I got number 570 out of 2000. All right, I'm gonna slice that open, unbox it. Oh, we're straight in. Wow, we're straight in. Wait, let me slice this. You can tell I'm a professional unboxer, man. We're gonna pull out the mystery box first, which, wow. Wait, what? Wow. Wow, that has got some serious weight to it. I broke it. <laughs> I'm not joking, I've actually just broke it. I've actually just broke it. I've actually just snapped that off. <laughs> Man, I really need to get better at these unboxings. Right, so let me show you. This is the mystery box, okay, which looks, it does open. It opens like a latch, okay? So I went to just lift up the latch, and when I lifted off the latch, it just snapped off straight away. Wait, what? Oh, no, nah, what a refund. You've just seen me unbox this. This is just, com that's completely already broken off the edge. 700, I paid $700 for this. And it's, that's just broken off with like an inch of touching it. And the hinge is already smashed. It's actually smashed off. Well, this is an absolute shambles of an unboxing so far, but there's the mystery box, which has got some weight to it. And then uh, there's no way this is broken as well, right? Sure, like surely not. <laughs> this, this has been a terrible unboxing so far. And I'm gonna lift out the ray gun. What? What? That's sick. So, oh, the trigger doesn't pull or anything. I did think it was like something that you could pull the trigger on, but I think it is just a prop one. It would be nice if you could turn it on and it actually make noise. It's got a lot of weight to it, which is rather nice. But other than that, it does look sick. Take a look at that. Wow. Wow. Um, I think this is like, yeah, this is the stand because I believe this goes on like here somewhere. Not exactly sure which way. I should probably read it before I break it again. I definitely did not put a lot of force on that for that to snap off. So I'm almost tempted to say that was already broken and it just like hairline fractured off when I touched it. How the, how the back of it is actually broken, that was nothing to do with me. It was already smashed off. But right, there's the box of that opened. We have the ray gun. Ooh, what's he got written on it? Yeah, it's just exactly like the mystery box. This does light up if you put batteries on it. And then I need to work out, let me have a look at the box. How do you put it on? Goes in here, I believe, like that. And then like this. 
So that's how it's supposed to sit. It's a mystery box ray gun. And there it is. Um, broken, but you know what? It being broken maybe adds to a bit more of an aesthetic. It's now a one of one collector's item. This is a fucking shambles, but there you go. $700. I feel like I've been ripped off. I do, I do. I really do feel like I've been ripped off. For the amount of money that you spend on that, you would genuinely think, like, you would... Ha what? What's up? What's all this dust just come off it? It's falling apart at the pissing seams, this thing. It's made by it with fucking dust. You would think you'd be able to, like, relook. Oh, my gosh, I thought I broke it. I actually thought I, I broke that then. Okay, so that comes off. And hang on a minute, there's a battery slot. There's a, you can put a battery in it. So again, it lights up, like I was saying, but there is no like, you can't pull the trigger, that's stiffly solid. And I really could do with finding some instructions as to like what to actually do with this thing. Like, look, you, if, that, if that does that, you'd think you'd be able to drop it down and reload it. Like, there's, there's still loads of white dust falling out of the back. Is this filled with cocaine or something? What's going on? Right, I'm gonna put that back on there. I'm gonna try and see if I can find an instruction book, which I simply cannot. I, I'm kind of confused. Is wait, let me have a look at the in the bottom of this. No, yeah, this is this actually needs returning. Look, it's completely smashed off already. It's completely cracked off. Like the drill holes don't even look like they've been drilled in. It's just completely smashed to a T. Let's put some badges in this and see what it looks like. But yeah, like it's cool. It'll look good on a display. But is it just me? Or do it look like it's floppy? Is that what the ray gun usually looks like? A big flopster? Doom, 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 doom. Now, if we just calm me down, being a little bit critical of it right now, this is what the ray gun looks like, like up close. It does look nice, but can you see what I mean by like it looking like it's a bit floppy? Is that normal? I feel like I'd need to jump back on zombies just to find out if it if the ray gun's always been a flopmeister omatic. But yeah, like this top section comes off like with a magnet. And there's a battery slot in there, but I've got to be quite honest, I have no idea what battery that is. It's, it's absolutely tiny. I'm going to have to Google what battery that is, because I, de I definitely don't have the one that goes in there. There's no way. But, yeah, it goes onto it like that. It, lo like, it looks like a good quality product, like a build, but maybe for, I don't know, 100 quid or something, not, not 700. I swear they've just put, like, a magnet or a piece of metal in there just to, just to keep it heavy, but not quite sure about that one. And then for the box, if I just put that there. So this is what it looks like from the front. Okay, kind of cool, kind of, kind of cool. This white dust is what's come out of the ray gun. I uh, just think it's like whatever it's made out of and where the hole's been drilled for it. But basically, if I turn it back round and show you this side of it, look, that's what the hinge should look like. And that's what mine looks like. It's completely smashed off the bottom of it. So I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna return that. I'll apologize for, you know, the thing that I broke off the front, but that was not me and I've got video evidence of me unboxing it. So if I show you inside it, it's just LED lights just sticking out, like not even hidden or anything. And then a battery pack in the corner. Like I honestly wouldn't say this is the most prestigious thing built in, together in the world. Like it's got weight to it, which is nice, but I wouldn't call it a good product, unfortunately. All right, but I have put some batteries in this. So let me close the curtains and then let's turn on the mystery box on this switch, which just emits some yellow lights. So it's to make it look like it's the mystery box. Kind of weird that you can't, you can't turn that, that off. You can't turn that off without taking off the ray gun and going inside, which seems a bit backwards to me. It doesn't really seem very thought out, but let's put that onto there. Like so, and then turn off the lights. And there is your $700 ray gun. One second, let me just wipe the ray gun off the table. It's everywhere. But there you go. So obviously, if I got the right battery for this, I'd be able to show you the lights of that on. But I, I honestly feel like I've never seen that battery before in my life, so I'm not quite sure what to say. But yeah, there you go. Um... Bit disappointed. Bit disappointed. To the point where I would I would actually prefer to send this back, ask for a refund, and then put the money into people who make like prop weapons on Etsy and stuff like that. Because I've seen some seriously sick ones. 
that reloads and makes a sound effect and it's like $300 or something. And then I could probably buy that and then the Thunder Gun together for the price of this. But at the same time, the reason why I got it is it's because it's an official Call of Duty one and it's supposed to be like a collector's edition. So yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I thought I was gonna be so hyped for this, but man, I'm gutted. All I'm gonna say is you could spend 700 plus dollars on a ray gun that sits on your desk doing nothing and probably comes broken not the bit I broke, the bit that came broken at the back, um, and be disappointed. Or you could go to syndicateoriginal.com, pick yourself up the brand new Syndicate Original Summer Collection design. Very good, very nice. And more so, if you do actually buy yourself a t-shirt, you'll look good, you'll feel good, but you'll get entered into the chance to win a £2,000 plus holiday for your face. So just saying this out right now, you could buy yourself 20 plus of these t-shirts to look good, feel good, because we do four different designs. We have the blue with blue, we have the blue with purple, we have the sand, and we have the black. And then that way you could get 20 plus entries to win a free holiday. Because um, I sure as shit, if I had the money again, would not be buying another one of these. I'd be buying one of these. But um, yeah, there it is. Ray gun. Really gutted. What it is. What it is. Surprisingly, I've actually managed to put it back in the box already and sent an email to the customer support team being like, hey, I have a video of me unboxing it, breaking it, but also revealing that it's broken anyway. Um, how can I go about returning it? So I'll let you know what happens with the whole process of that. Uh, but yeah, as a product, three out of 10. Now, nothing like me rushing around. Thank you, baby. Sorry to wake you up from your nap. Uh, see you later, babe. I was supposed to be at the pub at what I thought was half past five. Turns out, <laughs> what time was I supposed to be here? Not me. Oh, hi Rob. Hi Dad. Hello Tom. Look what's in my bag. Uh, look at the selection I got You're though. Get rid oh, of them, yeah. <laughs> no, they're my favourite beers. <laughs> You're looking fresh, bro. Right, bro. Look at this man. Alexander Barbers. Yeah, oh, yes, bro. <laughs> Hang on a second. Have you put a pipe behind the bar for me? You bastard. <laughs> I'm going to get cosy right now. I've only just got it yeah. because I'm running late to go out on a night out. Yeah. But you're from where? Australia. Are you as well? I'm from Scotland, but I'm living in Australia with you. You're from Scotland? I'm from Scotland, yeah. Are you guys together? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's a combination of the two best people in the world. <laughs> Australia is a, 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 What are you doing? Uh, some bit of a Europe trip. We've been easily been back to Scotland and um, okay, yeah. so what amazing places. What brings you to G Cross? Um, I could see it. Have a beer. Have a great. I can't believe it. Hey, well, thank you very much. No worries, I appreciate that. Legends. Hey boys. Cheers. Um, to Robbo, may, may his hairline stay strong. Cheers. 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 To Robbo, may Turkey treat you well. Oh, go on then, Mr. Tasty Boy. Beautiful. We got dancing, and we got, oh my God, it's the 30 year old. Oh my God, dude. Tonight's gonna be a messy night. Huh? Oh, and I do believe, oh, Eamon's arrived at the house. Oh, Eamon, what are the chances? New car, new job title, a new boyfriend. Hey. All the boys, all the boys. You've got a big... <laughs> <laughs> Jamie beeped that. Hiya. There's no way in, in the next hour you're going to see any coherent Can I footage. Can say something? You're all leaving it. They're all pints behind the bar. No, you're not getting free beers. Go away. Hey. All my mates want free beers behind the back. Get off me. Leave me again. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got to your Guinness. What can we get? It sounds like go to the grapes and give me a Guinness. Whoa, we're going to have to pause everything and close this door for a second. Oh, my gosh. Look at Robbo's salt. This is where he's smashing the pasties. There's no way that's what I think it is. An old Xbox 360. <laughs> Another one. He's got, he's got his Xbox 360 originals they were the elites i think these are the originals and then he's got even more over here he's even got a star wars one he's also got a pipe going through the wall so we won't talk about that but look wait what wait what is why is going wait why has he got so many phones <laughs> am i seeing this correctly he's still got all his old xbox day games world at war modern warfare medal of honor battlefield bad company Halo three copies of halo three an oblivion. What? Mate, whoa! He's got a quadruple cell. Where is the boy? Robbo! I didn't know this was a thing. What? Give us a big tour. Mate, I didn't know you had all your old oh Xboxes. Gamer, Mate, when did you, why have you still got all your old Xboxes? Mate, that's so good. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, 
Zero KD. Oh yeah. my god, dude. It's just a shame I'm a better Call of Duty 4 player than you. You're not. I bet well, you so I bet you a million pounds in a 1v1, ball. I would beat you. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, no. Bro, no, 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 we're playing on the Xbox 360 no, Elite. Whoa, well, I'm not accepting the terms. No, 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 no. Mate, I'm all about this. Cause no, I want to make in the in my basement a wall with all the consoles from like start to finish of all the years that I ever this used. Is what, it was our childhood. D dude, I that's what I'm saying. So Th that was the Xbox 360 Elite, right? Yeah. That was the Elite, but this was no, the no, OG. No, no, no. That was the OG Elite. Wait, is that the memory expansion thing? No. So. Cause couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why are you there? Wait, what's through this? He punched a fucking hole. Whoa, no, you, what the no, fuck you is didn't. Spider? Wait. What's this? He looks. Is this the toilet? <laughs> Why is there a hole to the toilet? We had the core system. Then the black edition. Then the pro came out. Then we had the elite. Oh. And then we had the specials. Have you got the arcade? Do you remember the arcade? No, that was the arcade. That was the arcade. The starting one. The one with the wire. No, the arcade one was where it didn't have a. That, that was the memory pack on the top. Yeah, so that so the arcade that, was without it. Yeah. That have the hard drive on. Mate, that's mad. You could take that off. Wait, how do you do it? That's a dev kit. You can't be. What? Developers have that. Kids these days have no idea. What's the storage on it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the boy. Yeah, no. Oh, is your is your no scope montage still? Yeah, yeah, yes. I'm gonna link it in the comments down below. Oh, okay. Go and watch his his video. That's what got me into making Call of Duty videos in the first place. Molly, look how hard If it you. wasn't, are you ready? If it wasn't for Wes playing COD 4 and would never know COD 4, yeah, at his house, but if it wasn't for you recording it and I'm like, up. people actually record videos, yeah, he's got weapon I never would have made videos. He's got weapon you go, bro. What a bloke. So, <laughs> well, we're 1v1 for a million pounds. It's already set up. Nah, no, it's not. No, it's not. Hey, he's camping in the corner. Correct. Hey, MCC, listen, I took, I, I, I took down the infamous. Wings of Redemption. All right, M16, so. red dot in the corner. What we want, M16 on <laughs> Bog. No. <laughs> I've ruined no. one man's career. I'll do it again. Nothing. Oh my gosh. So he still got the his account from when we first played Call of Duty together. We got Big Tasty, see himself. Deck 191. Deck one, one, <laughs> oh my God. Deck 191. GXC, GXC, that was our own clan. Pro I created the iPro clan. So iPro I Ellis, iPro Tom, Tom. What was my first game of a tag? Tom and 811. <laughs> I remember And then, it. what did I rename it to? It was, and then it was the iPhone No, 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 the sniper name. Oh my god, dude, is that one Jack Helms? Yeah. <laughs> so I had the sniper I actually one changed one. my name because I, he thought he was sick at sniping. I was better. So my name was One Shot Counts. It was. But then I changed it to iPro Syndicate. Right, we need to and then I managed to get Syndicate. I was better than you all. I've got no, the you weren't. I've got the syndicate. I was better than them all. I'll give you this. I've always been like sat close to the screen. Mate, how, how good is that? Bro, this is a dream cell. Whoa! Single player games, and that's where the. Belton, can I ask a question? Why there was a hole in the door yet? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why have you got a hole to the bathroom in there? <laughs> Whoa! GXE Cassell, let's go! Listen, if we're gonna find my old account, we this vlog, by the way, was supposed to be me on a night out getting drunk, <laughs> and instead it's me, Tom McCallum, and Robbo just chilling, looking at Xbox 360 friend lists. <gasps> I pro Wes, what? You still got it? There's no way you've still got it. By the way, that wicked sniper was me as well. I had people on the inside of our friendship group of like eight people inviting me into the games you were in on the other team to snipe you and you with the death cams and being in the same <laughs> call as you I'd be like that wicked sniper keeps killing me the dickhead and I was like it was me the entire time <laughs> there's no way it's actually loaded up my old Xbox that profile first account. dude Tominator111 2997 gamer score Tom Manchester England I like mountain biking, downhill racing, enjoy the 360 a lot. Do you remember when you would fall out with each other and you used to rate each other's accounts like negative? You'd dislike, you'd report each other's accounts. No way you just found this. Wait, this is this is your report card? Yeah. 25% preferred you or did not suck their route. 75% avoided you. 13% rage quit there. Can you believe that we're just like a bunch of grown blokes now? Yeah, like 15, 30. 15 years we've known each other. More than that, 15 years. Mental. Are you ready for a good birthday dance out? 
really good. I can't wait to look at this clip in the morning. And think, and then, and, and then I'll find you, it's like eight hours later in that bush. <laughs> what a night. Oh my gosh, dude. We're getting in the, 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 the shag wagon 5,000, dude. Oh, we got neon lights and everything, dude. Why would you do that? Now, I never thought I would be this honest in my life, but we were in the taxi on the way here, and there was like eight, there was 13 in the car, but yeah. about eight of us needed a piss. I saw a bar, I was like, taxi driver, can I get out, please? If we wouldn't have got out of that we, taxi there, we would have pissed then. ourselves out. We would have wow. pissed ourselves. Wow, I know this is an easy. overshare, but oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. It took us that long to get to Manchester that we were nearly fighting the driver to let us out to use a bathroom somewhere. So we've just dropped off at this bar and we need to go and now have a shot to say thank you for using the bathroom. Wow. What a night. Hey, you and me are on a lovely date night now. It's just you and me. I've never been in here. That was very nice. Hey, this is gorgeous. I've honestly never been in here in all the time I lived in Manchester. Look at this. Atlas bar. Oh, it's Oh, it's a vibe. Oh, it's an absolute vibe. I can't believe it. Rob Darlington, buy me a drink. Cheap as I'm going. That's what, a, what a beautiful man. Cheers. To health, to happiness, and to when men need a piss, piss. Ooh. White Sambuca just tastes like black rick licorice. Rickerish, licorice. <laughs> you know what? That's like a treat, not a shot. Are we go and catch up with them? Yeah, let's go get them. <laughs> Thank you, Atlas Bar. Let me use your toilet. Whee! And here we are, walking through the streets of Deansgate, Manchester. Rob Darlington is smoking a cigarette because he's an awful human being. So apparently, we've started this night a little bit late. We were supposed to go to an Irish bar, get drunk there, and then go to a place called Rev de Cuba. I thought we'd go straight to Revs. We are. Now, that so yeah, plan A fell apart. So we're now on plan <laughs> G, and we're going straight to Rev de Cuba. Now, I know we're supposed to be going on a night out, but I kind of want to go in there. Ramen nudes. No, I like ramen noodles. Let's go in there. No, no, let's go to the party first. Let's go to Rev de Cuba, Cuba, and then let's go get some nudes. Okay. Nice. All right. Let the case begin because that's where we're going in. And welcome to the rest of your night. Wow! Copyright music, goodbye! Now, I could be wrong, we went into that bar, but I'm 99% sure we're down here. Cheers, Rob. Cheers. To health, to happiness, and... It. Whoa! Tom, get back upstairs now. No, I'm hiding the entire thing. No, no. Wait, come here. Um, is this the party for Tom? <laughs> Robbo? <laughs> Rubber, rubber. <laughs> DJ, you've not seen Tom anywhere, have you? <laughs> yep, I'd agree with that one. He said probably upstairs. Hey, Rob, I've got a feeling we're upstairs. <laughs> um, I do have to question though. We really looked upstairs and we didn't see anyone. Well, apart from the guy that looks like Rob with a better beard. So where, the, where are we going? Sorry, it's not open downstairs. Oh, oh, we found out the hard way. <laughs> We're going back upstairs, don't worry, thank you. Time, oh, he's there, I can see him. There's Carl. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Robbo! Yeah. What is going on right now? Yeah. Wait, you know me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tonight's gonna be a mad night. I was having a really good time. Well, it's at that point in the night. Where I'm going to Top Carpi? Oh yes, this is the place. And if you'd like to know a fun story, do you know like how me and Lydia were like in relationships, not in relationships, in relationships, not in relationships, because we clash in our lives. It was at that chair right there that I text Lydia being like, I hope you're doing well in life. I love you. And I realize that I'm ready for a relationship. <laughs> She's gonna kill me for saying that, but it is what it is. I decided to go for the <laughs> six chicken nuggets, chips and gravy, and I'm not even joking. You see where you can see all like the party lights inside there and inside there. That's where all my boys are at right now, drinking, having the time of their lives. But I'm just hungry. So <laughs> I've come out with some food. The vinegar on this is strong to the point where it's burning my eyes, but I'm just gonna let them have their amazing night out and 
I'm hungry, but guess what? I eat. And I hopefully, in the morning, don't wake up with a hangover because I've had some food inside me. <laughs> and we're back in the room. There's no way this was a thing. When was this? What? All these years later, I feel like, I feel like, an old man that gets smaller and smaller every time he meets the one, but what? Why are you smiling? Oh, me and my best friend, you'd be so jealous. What a day! It got to that part of the night where you have to smile and wave. Smile and wave. Have you had a good night? Have you had a good night? Get home safe, Godspeed, and good luck. And this is how you know I'm a good friend. I'm putting Eamon. No, Eamon, no, Eamon, no. Eamon, no. Then Eamon. You fucking idiot. Jesus fucking Christ. I've ordered you a taxi. It's a fucking next one, you fucking idiot. Yes, that one. I tried my best. That is the taxi that I... I've paid for us to put Eamon in to go home. So, Godspeed, good luck, and goodbye, Eamon. Now, it's the next day after a very, very fun night out. I can't even remember what the last clip you guys have got, but great success. Can confirm that Lydia loves me because I've single-handedly managed to decorate the new nursery with furniture after my casino winnings last night. So you're happy? <laughs> a thousand pounds on red, straight away, one happy days, cashed out. And that now Nate pays for all of Jellymon's furniture, which is an absolute win. And one more win is the fact that I've managed to dismantle all of this. It took me... I did that in like 15 minutes. It took me two hours to build, but... No, you are, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. But I dismantled it way faster than I thought. And it's good to go tomorrow. Now, hello there. I'm back with my favourite orange bucket. And I'm a man on a mission. I've brought the weirdest assortment of tools, which comprise of a screwdriver, um, a drill, a hammer, and uh, some long nose pliers. The reason why I've got this is I've decided I'm going to sort out what is happening in this fridge. I've already emptied part of it, but, oh boy, have we got some Red Bulls um, and some <laughs> Asahi fighting for their lives. I honestly thought this was going to be a much easier task, but hey, two frozen cold Peronis. Let's go. Um, one of them smashed. And um, I have some very dodgy uh, brown snow. I'm sure as a kid you got warned about yellow snow, but brown snow, bloody hell. And now this is my current setup. Using this to just chip away at the ice and cracking parts of it off. It's like, oh, look at that. It's like the bloody Titanic and then throwing it into my bucket. If you're wondering why my legs there, it's keeping the door open. And the ultimate utility man. Oh, look at this for some satisfaction. Are you ready? Oh, just slides out of place. Anyone want a cold one? <laughs> well, this task has escalated. I managed to pull the doors off it. I am full swinging with this hammer inside. And look what I managed to pull off. Oh my gosh. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a beer inside it. 200 IQ Tommy, I've got hot water inside this and I'm squirting it at the back <laughs> of the ice in the hopes that it frees it up. I wonder if I can go straight through it, you ready? Fire! Fire! And who says hammers can't fix problems? Hey! Done an absolutely cracking job here. Look at the amount of ice I'm bringing out. It's ridiculous. Well, in this episode of Fuck Around and Find Out, I thought I just exploded. Um, Roll the clip. I just got down to the very bare bones of getting everything out, cleaning up the little bits, and by accident, I went too close to the wall at the back of the freezer, burst through it. <coughs> oh, wow. I, I'm going to have to Google what I've just breathed in here because I swear that is not um, <coughs> a substance humans are supposed to breathe. But oh my gosh, I honestly thought I just like exploded myself and the house. Y you can't write it. I've literally just emptied the entire thing out to the point where I can just like leave the little bits to just like thaw out and, you know, dry up with the towels. And I've just put a bloody hole through the back of the actual entire unit. So now it's buggered. Shit. 
Roll the clip one more time. I luckily I didn't actually explode and die, but I have come upstairs to Lydia being back from the sofa shop because we've made the decision to order the sofa. Ah! Cracking choice, your order is confirmed. And what's the delivery date, did it say? The 21st of October, potentially. Who's gonna come first, the baby or the sofa? The sofa on the, on the 21st, 22nd, or Jelly Man on the 24th? Sofa could be late. Baby could be late. Baby could be early. <laughs> Nothing like doing it all at once, eh? Nothing like doing it all at once. To which, this is again your vlog reminder that, guys, the brand new Syndicate Original Summer Rain. That's the name we went for. We didn't know what we were going to call it for the longest time, but we've gone for the Summer Rain. I almost was a bit like, do we call it that? Seeing as though I go to Rita's Rain for food all the time, but I was like, no, the Summer Rain. I like it. The Summer Rain collection is now available for pre-order. All you have to do is go to syndicateoriginal.com, get your pre-order in, and you guys will be entered in to win £2,000 towards a holiday or £2,000 holiday. It's up to you. It, it's an interesting one because the way I wanted to do it was like, right, find two, like an epic, epic holiday, like an all-inclusive dope holiday. Be like, this is the one I'm going to give away and go to you guys like, ta-da, if you guys get the t-shirt, then you get the chance to win this as well. But then Alice was like, well, certain people might have like logistical issues, whether it's dates, whether or not there's there's more than two of them. Because like my idea was like, we give one away, but then they get a plus one to go with them. So you're like, it makes sense. But yeah, like in case people have got kids, they've got like job commitments or anything like that. So it ended up being the smart decision to be like, okay, if we were going to spend £2,000 on this all-inclusive holiday for like a week or whatever it was, what we'll do instead is we'll give away that that exact value of what it was we were giving away uh, to someone towards their holiday. Hopefully, it's not the most complicated thing to understand. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's pretty simple. Like Once the pre-order's finished, closed, and we get the orders out, we're actually going to be picking the person who's got it. So I hope whoever does win it is repping in their brand new summer rain <laughs> uh, design and uh, they're rocking away on a holiday, having the time of their lives. So it's just nice that these are the sort of things that I've always wanted to do with Syndicate Original. Even though, again, we've stepped up from being uh, assigned tennis ball, a cork, a spa, um, oh, I forgot about the cereal box. We gave away a cereal box, but now we're giving away basically £2,000. That's how I want to do it. And, and just throwing this out there, like I want to keep doing this sort of stuff with Syndicate Original, but bigger and better. So just throwing it out there. If you guys like the design, I really do appreciate you guys picking it up. As you know, family-run business. We're back. We're booming. We're doing the vlogs. We're doing these sort of giveaways. And I hope with the clothing line and where it's going to grow over the future... My main goal is to keep giving back to you guys. And I think it's shown evidently over the course of uh, like the past, I think it's like three months of being, me being back vlogging. When we go into the next month, I'll be back weekday vlogging for three months. How has that even happened? I don't even know. But yeah, the collection's alive, guys. I really appreciate all your guys' support. And good luck to whoever it is who bags themselves the dream giveaway. So uh, yeah, I'm going. It is now mm, uh, one one oh nine on a Monday morning, and I've got shit to get done. So until tomorrow's vlog at seven p.m. 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 ish seven p.m. ish for your faces. I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna leave you, and I'm gonna wish you all the best of luck. So until then, much love, and as always, a sa di hos.